Number 10, Space Debris. This image of a space age-like structure on what appears to be an Arctic beach probably isn't real. We weren't able to trace it to anything that's actually known to exist. But it's a great way to get a conversation going about real instances of space debris appearing along coastlines, right? Take for example the time when a vacationer discovered parts from a SpaceX rocket during a trip to the Bahamas. During a getaway in 2015, Kevin Eichelberger and his friends noticed something strange in the water approaching the beach. It turned out to be pieces of barnacle-covered wreckage from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket booster, which had exploded and crash-landed just weeks earlier. The group quickly figured out what it was and tweeted to Elon Musk to let him know about their discovery. Musk replied a few days later thanking the friends for passing on the news, but he seemed uninterested in retrieving the debris. Eschelberga and his buddies left it sitting on the beach. After all, what else were they going to do with it? And as exciting as it was to find the discarded hunks of metal, locals were concerned about how to remove it and how much it would cost, especially since there's no dump on El Bouquet, the small island it washed up on. Shortly after that, SpaceX soon announced plans to come get the parts and properly dispose of them. Number 9. Pig-Faced Shark Social media users went into a frenzy in September when naval officers on the Italian island of Elba posted photos of a dead shark with an eerily pig-like face. They had just discovered the carcass and apparently thought its homely face was interesting enough to share with the world. The creature is not deformed, like you might be thinking. It's an angular rough shark, and it's what they all look like. Some people call it a pig fish, not only because it looks like one, but because it emits a pig-like grunt when it's removed from the water. The species is common in the Mediterranean, but like most sharks, it's vulnerable to the fishing industry. Its numbers have been declining for decades, and it's one step away from becoming endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, red list. The angular rough shark is one of many strange sharks that have been found in the region. In 2019, a one-foot-long, 30.5-centimeter shark missing its teeth and its outermost layer of skin was found near Sardinia, Italy. After ruling out that it was a newly discovered species, experts were shocked to realize that the creature had lived for around three years. It grew at a normal rate, lived a relatively normal life, and was well-fed despite its ailments. Researchers concluded that the so-called naked shark had a genetic mutation. They're unsure whether the mutation was natural or caused by chemical pollution, and said that they plan to continue investigating the matter. Number 8. Beached Brains during his daily morning walk along the beach in Racine, Wisconsin one day last year, local resident Jimmy Senda spotted an object on the ground wrapped in aluminum and secured with a rubber band. Upon taking a closer look, he saw what looked like a human brain. To make things even weirder, the bundle also contained flowers and what appeared to be Chinese currency. Nearby city workers took a look and agreed with the baffled beachcomber that the object resembled a brain. Senda called the police, and they too agreed with his assessment. The Racine County Medical Examiner's Office determined that it was a brain, but it didn't belong to a human. But it was still undeniably disturbing since someone had clearly taken the time to wrap it up, and with flowers no less. Nobody knows how and why the bizarre collection of objects ended up on the beach in Racine or who might have left them there. Cinda wasn't exactly thrilled by the alarming discovery that interrupted his peaceful morning stroll, but he told Fox 6 News that he was also glad for it in a weird way because it prevented any children from finding it. Good on ya, Jimmy. Good on ya. Number 7. Lipaya Northern Forts The Latvian coast is home to the ruins of a collection of crumbling concrete bunkers. Known as the Northern Forts, they were built by Tsarist Russia between the 19th and 20th centuries. The long-abandoned structures once surrounded the entire coastal city of Lipaya and were part of its central fortress. They were abandoned in 1908, barely a decade after they were finished being built, because they were deemed to be a strategic mistake according to Latvia's official travel website. Authorities tried to blow the bunkers up with explosives in the past, but they were only partially successful. The ruins that survived the blast remain in place today, dotting the shoreline. But it appears as though the Baltic Sea may complete the unfinished demolition work as the unforgiving saltwater takes a toll on the structures. Some of these shelters have collapsed, others are still standing, but their days are arguably numbered in a losing battle against the elements. The site is open to visitors with guided tours, including one that has tourists play a game called Escape from the USSR. It entails a mock scenario where participants have to rescue a friend who was captured by the Soviets. Are you up for a round of Escape from the USSR, or does this not sound like your cup of tea? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Dead Seal Colony In September 2020, Cape Fur Seals began turning up dead in large numbers on the Namibian coast. By mid-October, somewhere between 5,000 and 7,000 adult females appeared to have miscarried. Speaking with Reuters, Naud Dreyer of Ocean Conservation Namibia explained that most of the carcasses belonged to dead mother seals rather than pups. 
Scientists were at a loss to explain the mass die-off. They theorized that pollution, a bacterial infection, and or malnutrition may have played a role. Some of the bodies were emaciated or at least thin with very little fat reserves, according to Dr. Tess Gridley of the Namibian Dolphin Project. But this wasn't the first time seals have perished in mass in Namibia. Back in 1994, around 10,000 dead seals and 15,000 fetuses appeared along the shore. A food shortage and bacteria were the suspected causes of death, but it seems as though experts failed to conclusively determine what happened. Number 5. Narluga Skull Back in 1990, a hunter noticed three unusual-looking whales swimming off the coast of western Greenland. He managed to collect one of the creature's skulls, and it was unlike anything he'd ever seen before. The animal had both beluga-like teeth and a bottom set of narwhal-like chompers, but it lacked the characteristic narwhal horn that the species is famous for. Narwhal researcher Mess Peter Heide Jorgensen suspected that the skull belonged to a hybrid between a narwhal and a beluga, or a narluga. Some researchers disagreed, instead theorizing that the animal was a deformed beluga. At the time, DNA technology wasn't advanced enough to glean any genetic information about the weird whale. The skull sat in storage for decades at the Natural History Museum of Denmark until a curator decided to take a fresh look at it in 2015. Technology had come a long way since the 90s, and scientists managed to extract some DNA. As it turned out, the creature was in fact a narluga with a narwhal mother and a beluga father. The skull is the first telltale evidence that a narluga hybrid was even a real thing. Before then, scientists thought it was nearly impossible for the two species to mate. Their shared gene flow appears to have diverged over a million years ago, and it's highly unusual for such distantly related animals to procreate with one another. An isotope analysis of its diet revealed that the creature probably dove even deeper than its parents in search of prey. Aside from these rudimentary details, not much is known about narlugas, and it could be a very long time before researchers get the chance to observe one of these extremely rare hybrids in the wild. Number 4. Rubber Duck While vacationing in the Russian Arctic two years ago, Vladimir Matusevich noticed a dirty rubber duck inscribed with the number 1417 resting on some beach rocks. He knew that it probably came from a rubber duck race. Yeah, it's a real thing. But these events are not common in Russia. Matusevich scoured duck racing event pages and groups on social media to try finding out where the one he found came from, and even created a Facebook page dedicated to his search. He sent countless messages to duck race organizers, and his hard work recently finally paid off. Monica Iverson, who helps organize the Ardmore duck race in Alberta, Canada, received a message from Matusevich in 2019, but didn't notice it until this year. She instantly recognized her handwriting on the duck and knew it was from her Ardmore event. When asked by CBC News if she was sure it was her duck, she said that she was 150% sure. The duck entered the water in June 2017. Two years later, Matusevich found it more than 6,200 miles, 10,000 kilometers away. The annual Ardmore duck race has been going on for over 30 years. Local firefighters help collect the ducks at the end of the race, so it's rare for one to stray into the vast open sea. But number 1417 must have somehow slipped by unnoticed and continued its journey down the Churchill River, which empties into Hudson Bay. Ocean current expert Paul Myers explained in a CBC interview that the duck probably drifted through the Hudson Strait, around Quebec, and into the Labrador Sea, where it was swept away by the Gulf Stream. From there, it likely passed between Iceland and Scotland, then up the Norwegian coast to the Russian Arctic. The traveling toy has seen more in the past two years than many of us get to experience in our entire lifetime, and it'll finally be traveling back home to Alberta soon. Number 3. Giant Snowballs Locals were baffled in late 2016 when giant, nearly perfectly round balls of snow and ice littered an 11-mile, 18-kilometer stretch of coastline in northwestern Siberia's Gulf of Ob. The strange spheres ranged from 2.7 inches, 6.9 centimeters, about the size of a tennis ball, to as much as 3 feet, 1 meter in diameter. This has happened elsewhere, including along Lake Michigan, where boulder-sized ice balls weighing up to 50 pounds, 22 kilograms each, have appeared on the shore. In fact, they appear fairly regularly in the region, according to Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore Deputy Superintendent Tom Ulrich. To the typical onlooker, these frozen orbs seem too flawlessly round to be anything but man-made but they're actually the product of a rare but naturally occurring phenomenon. Known as concretions, they form in a similar way to how a person makes a snowball. They start out as slush and small pieces of ice and grow as they're rolled by the wind in frigid water, sometimes becoming enormous in the process. The waves roll them ashore and deposit them on land as the tide recedes. Number 2. Strange Shipwreck while draining a man-made salt lake along Namibia's skeleton coast in 2008, a group of miners and geologists noticed pieces of wood and metal scattered along the shore. Soon after that, they discovered a buried shipwreck. 
Experts believe it's the Portuguese vessel Bom Jesus, which vanished along with its crew in 1533 while sailing from Lisbon to India. It's the oldest wreck ever found in southern Africa. It was also the first wreck in the region that was found laden with treasure, including gold coins and over 100 elephant tusks. A recent study traced the ivory to the African forest elephant. The species is native to the humid forests of West Africa and the Congo Basin. Until recently, scientists believed that they left their natural habitat for the dry savanna as recently as the 20th century, when overhunting and the ivory trade eradicated savanna elephants and opened up their territory to populations from elsewhere. But the 500-year-old tusks found on the Bom Jesus probably came from elephants that were killed near the coast, indicating that the creatures may have left the rainforests as early as the 16th century. The findings surprised experts who previously thought that ivory came from elephant species who stayed within different regions and habitats. But the study puts the animals in a mixed environment, showing that they ditched the humid forests of Central and West Africa long before hunters came along and nearly drove them to extinction. By learning more about the history of elephant hunting and the creature's movement, researchers can better address concerns revolving around the illegal ivory trade. Number 1. Massive Pipes 2017 was an eventful year along the Norfolk, England coast. Several months after $60 million worth of cocaine washed ashore, a dozen massive plastic pipe segments appeared on the beach. They were 8 feet in diameter with the longest pipe measuring 1,574 feet 480 meters long. The titanic tubes were being transported from Norway to Algeria when the ship they were on got into an accident with a container ship. They became loose and fell off, and the waves carried them to land. The Maritime and Coast Guard Agency reassured the public that the pipes did not pose any public health or safety hazards. But the Norwegian company that manufactured the stranded goods warned people to stay away from the segments to avoid possibly being crushed by them. The statement came after social media users began posting pictures of themselves standing on top of the pipes. Pipelife export manager Trigu Blomster told The Guardian that the tubes are especially dangerous when moving around in water. All it would take is a person falling off of one and having it rolled on top of them by the waves. Not to mention the eight-foot fall alone would be unavoidably painful. The good news is that the pipes weren't dangerous to the environment and nobody ended up being crushed by one. Thanks for watching. What's the weirdest thing you ever found on a beach? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.